Hey, what's happening to you guys? Paracy and welcome back to another video. It's been a while since I've made a video and I do apologize for that. It's just that I just have no inspiration to make YouTube the way I want to make YouTube essentially. But I wanted to take some time to talk about this Sonic the Hedgehog movie. As you guys know, this has been the most hot debated topic in the past couple of days. And let's just let's, let's track back a little bit. So if you guys remember back in, I believe, maybe February, January, I don't know exactly which month. Maybe I might be even off. But they re pretty much released a leaked version of Sonic's design for the movie, and I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, it was it was universally accepted that this design just wasn't that good. And there were so many memes, so many discussions, so many videos being made because of that design. The design just wasn't Sonic. He didn't have his iconic um, gloves, his iconic um, shoes. His eyes was just really weirdly designed, he had teeth, okay we didn't see the teeth first of all but I'm just talking about, he just, overall the design, let's just focus on the design, the design just wasn't Sonic, it was literally something else, like a blue spiky alien from outer space, that's just how it is. We saw that. Now Paramount Studio must have at some point seen the feedback, seen the backlash that came from that design and they continued on with it. Which is odd, because now that we've seen the trailer, and let's face it, the design for Sonic wasn't the only thing that I had issues with. There was a lot of corny designs, um, you know, <sighs> baseless jokes, there were so many things wrong with that trailer, but it wasn't bad. I think the only thing that was really, really fucking bad was just Sonic's design. It just was atrocious, in my opinion. It didn't look like Sonic. It was a bastardized version of Sonic the Hedgehog, and it was a slap on so it was a slap across the face for Sonic's history, legacy, and just what he is as a character. I'm gonna just keep it real with you guys. They saw the backlash on their trailer, the, dis the dislike to like ratio was just insane, and it got so bad. I think not bad as in, you know, people were throwing insults or hatred or whatever, it just, we gave constructive criticism. We just didn't like it. It wasn't that good. People have even voiced their thoughts and opinion about not going to see the movie because who's gonna spend 12 euros or 15 euros for a cinema ticket just to see a really bad movie? We're just gonna wait for it to come out, whether it come out leaked on the internet or sometime on TV, whatever the case may be, or even on cheap ass half price DVD, whatever the case may be, we would not go and support this movie in the cinemas. It wasn't gonna happen. So it got so bad that essentially the lead director for this movie, I don't know what his name is again, I think it's Jeff or something? Yeah, I think it's Jeff Fowler. He came out and said the following thing. Thank you for your support and the criticism. The message is loud and clear. You aren't happy with the design and you want changes. It's going to happen. Everyone at Paramount and Sega are fully committed to making this character the best they can be. This is the first in history. The first in history in which we as a community were able to change Hollywood's mind. Now, keep in mind, we went through a lot of shit. <laughs> we went through Dragon Ball Evolution, we went to um, Avatar The Last Airbender, we went through loads of loads of video game based movies that just all ended up being shit. And then the recent one based on a, you know, um, geek area nerd otaku thing was I think Death Note that was also very bad. There's a habit of just bastardizing a lot of these characters. So when we, I think the other thing that actually may have helped influence the decision, I don't think we alone had the, you know, the, the, the full brunt of the effect. I think it's because of Detective Pikachu. Because that's another movie based on a video game, but they're doing it right. Every single Pokemon looks like the Pokemon in the games. You know, aside from the texture of their skin, you know, some having furs, some having scales, whatever the case may be. When you see a Green Ninja, you recognize Green Ninja. When you see Charizard, you recognize Charizard. And of, and of course, when you see Pikachu, you recognize Pikachu. So maybe that also helped as well because they saw the movement and obviously a lot of people were making the comparison that if Detective Pikachu can do it right, what's your excuse, Paramount? Paramount, what is your excuse, excuse for not making Sonic look like his freaking... Um, iconic video game character. Now, I know they've made some statements saying that because of Sonic's eyes looking weird when he translated into real life um, human world thing, but Sonic is not human to begin with. And if you've decided to go and pretty much create a hybrid CGI movie, that is something that you just have to do it. You just have to keep 
the character's iconic look and just hope for the best, but that's besides the point. And obviously it doesn't help that a lot of people, a lot of very very talented people online have proven that a Sonic that matches with this iconic look can still work in a cinematic world where humans and anthropomorphic animals can coexist. Every time we see a screenshot of the movie for Sonic the Hedgehog, you see fat people, um, artists, creatives, creating their own version, showing us that it can work if they put their effort in. It can work if they just respect the original creator's vision, um, his legacy, all that stuff. That, that's the thing, it's like, how did Sega approve this? This is the, sorry, I hit the mic. This is the biggest question that I have. How did Sega allow their IP to be bastardized so badly that even the original creator of Sonic the Hedgehog had to come out and say, I don't like this design? You know something is bad if the original creator has to actually open up his Twitter account and tweet out, I actually don't like this design, this, this doesn't um, match Sonic's look. And when you create a, when you create a character's design, it, there's a lot that goes into it. Sonic's design, his gloves, his shoes, his eyes, everything just has to fall in line. That's just it. So, but anyways, this is good news. Now, obviously, this has created a whole other topic of debate, which is the animators. As you guys know, the animators are going to have to go crazy to make sure that they can replace um, this, obviously, version of Sonic to the new one that they're planning on doing. And a lot of people are saying that this is going to be causing them to work overtime, stress them out. Please keep in mind that these animators are humans, things of that nature, which I do agree. I don't want people to die making this movie, obviously. But what can I say? It just has to. <laughs> it just has to happen. And um, I mean, okay, I'm not an expert when it comes to animation or CGI or anything like of that. But I feel like the rigging has already been done, so all they have to do is just to replace the model. That shouldn't be too much, of course they have to rearrange the interaction between the human and the CGI. And if there was a, and hopefully Sonic didn't do too much interaction with the humans, like as in touching them, hugging them, or things of that nature, if that was kept to a minimal in this movie, and all he was interacting was only other stuff in the movie, like you know, the vehicles, the missiles, and things of that nature, they can probably still do it. But then there was one tweet that I saw, that I found that actually prompted this video, which uh, I found this to be amazing. So this guy, he's from an IGN, he's from IGN, so I think his name is Brian Altano or something like that. And he tweeted out this very snacky, you know, comment saying, I guess respect the creator's artistic vision and don't force them to change anything, only apply it to Sekiro two months ago. I saw this tweet and I just thought this tweet was completely fucking stupid. He made a correlation with Sonic the Hedgehog, an iconic character with a huge amount of history and legacy, with a game that was created as a brand new IP that has a certain demographic market to it. <sighs> I don't know, explaining this seems really stupid. I feel like anyone with, a, with two cells in their brain can figure out that there is no correlation between respecting a creator's vision versus disrespecting a character's legacy and history. Do you know what I mean? It's like when you create a character, let's say you create a character and that character has gone through years of history and legacy through multiple games and has built up a fan base. Like it, 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 is, a, it is an iconic character to the point where I think there was a, there was something was named after Sonic in the medical field, I just don't know what it is, but he has made an impact to the world, both in the video game landscape and just in the world in general. And what the movie did was literally spit upon that and disrespect it. It, it just goes down to the principle of it, they just disrespected Sonic the Hedgehog versus Sekiro when, in, which the car in which the creators of the game created the game with a particular vision in mind and that was a whole different topic of don't dis <sighs> explaining this is so stupid. They can't they can't make the contrast. I made the quote, I made the quote, and I just told him that he probably just rage quit after the first boss. Like he, I don't know what he was trying to say, but it was just so stupid, I just can't comprehend. <laughs> but no, um Yeah, so obviously a lot of people were very, very, very happy that 
Paramount um, Studios um, lead director has made a tweet about making the changes. It gave me a little bit of hope. I don't understand why they didn't just take the feedback that came from the leaked. When that leaked image came out, whether it was intentionally or by accident, that was the gold mine. That was the greatest opportunity ever to make the changes that they could have made before releasing that trailer. I have absolutely no idea what happened. They probably thought to themselves, uh, you know, people are just overreacting. I'm sure when we show them the trailer and, we, and when we show Sonic in motion, they might change their mind. They showed us that and we were like, nope. <laughs> and there was a lot of things about the trailer I just didn't like as well, personally. Why is Eggman not in his full costume? In his full iconic, you know, design? Like, you know, the ginger mustache, bald haircut, um, glasses. Because I've never seen Eggman's eyes. And I feel like that's something that... We know he has them, but it's just I, I've never seen them, so I don't know. Keeping Eggman's classic design as a secret, you know, ending to the trailer makes no sense to me. It's not secret. We oh, no, this whole trailer is an annoying thing, but overall, I'm really happy that they're gonna be making changes to Sonic's design. And um, I get people's concerns for the for the uh, animators. You know, for the people who have to go back and redesign Sonic and make all that changes um, before November, which actually brings me up to another point. I feel like everyone, everyone, not a single person will have an issue with this game getting, sorry, with this movie getting delayed. If they have to delay it to like, I don't know, the, the movie's coming out in November. If they have to, if they have to delay it till May, just do it. I don't want a shitty Sonic movie. I want a great Sonic movie. I feel this is how every single Sonic fan feels like. This is how every single Sonic fan feels like. They don't want a shitty movie, they want a great Sonic movie. And I will accept the delay. I'm not begging for the movie. In fact, when the movie was first announced, that they were gonna be doing a CGI hybrid, I was so against that. I was like, no. What I want it's a simple Sonic the Hedgehog movie that has nothing to do with hybrid humans or anything like that. Like the, like the intro, like the opening for Sonic Unleashed. Give us that. I mean, why? Okay, I'm, I'm about to go into a little rant, but why does Sonic even need to be in a CGI hybrid? Give us Pixar quality Sonic the Hedgehog movies. No, oh my god. It's like, I don't understand who is in charge in Hollywood. Literally, give us Pixar quality selling the Hedgehog movie and I guarantee you, you will make back. People will pay for that shit. They will pay for that shit. But anyways, that's my thoughts and opinion on it. Um, I, I feel bad for the animators but sacrifices have to be made to achieve the greater good and I wish them all the best. Um, Godspeed and hopefully they won't tire themselves out too much but the only person that they can blame is not us. They showed us a trailer, re we reacted to it. It's as simple as that. I mean, no one held us at gunpoint to make us say those you know, constructive criticism. They released a trailer on YouTube. YouTube has a dislike and like ratio. We chose to hit that dislike button because it was really fucking bad. They saw the feedback and realized that a lot of people are not gonna go to the cinema to watch this movie, hence they're gonna make a loss anyway. And all the effort that they've put into this movie is gonna go for naught. Their reputation is gonna take a tank. It's just gonna be bad overall. So they decided that instead they're gonna try and revamp the movie, which could have all been avoided had they just stuck with Sonic's original design. I don't understand Hollywood's idea of changing things. If they just stuck with the original design, they would not have had this issue. Give Sonic his account. Give Sonic his iconic shoe, his gloves, slim down his body, make sure his eyes are exactly the way they are in video games, and overall people would just come and watch this movie, but uh, no, it's, I don't know, I don't know, it's, it's an interesting thing, I know a lot of people are now making fun of um, the fans for complaining, but it's like shut the fuck up, like seriously, shut the fuck up. No, like, I, I saw, I've been seeing a lot of that stuff on Twitter and it's, and it's like, what? You want me to go to the cinemas and pay my, my hard-earned money to a movie that looks like shit? No, like, no, I'm not gonna do that. That's stupid. Why would I do that? Like, it's like, it's like, it's like you're not even allowed to give constructive criticism anymore. 
they released the trailer, we all reacted to it. Our reaction was universally that we didn't like that shit, it looked trash. And we didn't even ask for a redesign. Keep in mind, we didn't ask for a, rede for a redesign for this movie. We asked why is it like this? Why did they choose to give Sonic human teeth? Why did they choose to give Sonic a, you know, human child body? Like, it's like Sonic is wearing a human... No, so it's like a human is wearing a bodysuit of Sonic's body. And it looks bad. He's too muscular, Sonic is never muscular. Like, Sonic... When you look at Sonic's design... Let's say I show you Sonic, and you've never seen a game of him, you, you, don't, you don't know nothing about it, but you just look at him. One glance of him shows you that he is about speed. He's about agility, he's about um, nimbleness. That's just how Sonic was designed, so that he, it just portrays that message immediately to the users, or to the you know viewers, or whatever. This new version looks like he can kick ass, and jump around, and unleash a Kamehameha or some shit like that. But yeah, that's about it. I have nothing else to say about it. Um, I'm just really happy, like, people can sit there and... No, they can show the concerns for the, for the animators because they're gonna probably have to work overtime to make sure that they can get this shit done before November. I know when it comes to business and, you know, movies, when they have a schedule, they have to meet that schedule. I don't know how lenient, how lenient they're gonna be when it comes to, um, you know, delays and stuff like that. I really hope that they do delay this movie. Because I don't want the animators to suffer. Like it's not, it's not their fault. It is generally not their fault that, you know, the corporate leaders or the ones in charge were so fucking stupid to allow that design to go through in the first place. It's not their fault. They only had to go through what they had to go through. And I'm pretty fucking sure as well that some of the animators who are designing that um, version of Sonic, they probably went up to those guys and be like, "Hey guys." Um, while we were designing this weird, fucked up version of Sonic, we started to realize that this is not Sonic. This is so, this is some weird fucking. Have you seen um, Jum Jum? What's it called? That's the word called Jumanji. Is it Jumanji? I don't know. It's like this movie where they play this game, and every time they roll the dice, something happens in the real world. And there was this one kid that was turned into this weird animal-like creature. That's Sonic right there. They probably went up to these people and they were like, you know, this thing looks kind of fucked up, like, it looks really, really uncanny and it's gonna make people feel like they don't want to watch this movie. Can we change it back to the original design? And they were like, nah, man, fuck all that shit. We gotta make that money. We gotta make that moolah. Keep the design. It's like, we have to keep the design. I don't know, it's so stupid. Sometimes I wonder who's in charge. I just want to know who is in charge of this decision. Like, I feel like whoever it was that designed this, this character, and thought it was a good idea, needs to be fired. <laughs> it just needs to be fired. I don't care. I, don't, I really don't care. You're not gonna go and fucking disrespect a legacy like that. I mean, Jesus fucking Christ. Can you imagine if they did that with Zelda? Well, not with Zelda, sorry, with Link. I feel like people would, people would fucking throw a tantrum if they made Link black. They would, oh my god. Hell would freeze. <laughs> But anyways, um, that's it for me. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm Paris and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.